Listen, guys, I know this is part two of Tony Hawk's American Wasteland, but I'm done skateboarding. We're riding bikes now. <laughs> Fuck this board. Hey, so kid, you think and a wild uh, Rick Thorn appears. So yeah, you can ride bikes in this game. It only is relevant in like maybe two missions, but it's something you can do, and it is once you get used to it, it is pretty fun. All right. He's very loud, and like I've, I've played a large number of tutorials. I'm not gonna show them all. I'm only gonna show like this one and maybe the next one. But each time you complete one of the bike tutorials, Rick Thorne will give you 20 bucks. Uh, and you will need money for a few of the early missions as well as some later. So I do a lot of those off screen. But riding bikes is fun, woo -hoo. Uh, <laughs> You accelerate with A, you steer with the left stick. You can't use the D-pad. And you can do tricks using the face buttons as well as flicking the right stick in particular directions. It works pretty well. I'm wondering if they made an actual, like, if this, these are the controls of another Neversoft BMX game. That's what I was going to ask. Because I know there were a few BMX games. I don't think Neversoft had anything to do with the Dave Mira games, for example, but it does remind me of that. There is Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX, yeah. but I have no idea how that controls. Was that Neversoft? Because I remember the cover art for that looking exactly like Tony Hawk. Yeah, it was Neversoft. Pretty much any... Blank Blank oh, Pro okay. Blank was a Neversoft game. That bad. Let's step it up. <laughs> <laughs> We're just skipping ahead. I did a lot of those tutorials. There's way more of them than I was expecting. But I earned a lot of money. I have like $500 now. Also, one other thing I want to show off real quick is freakouts. If you bail and mash the Y button, you can break your board in some way, and that starts a new combo. That was introduced in Underground 2, and it uh, follows into this game. And depending on how big the freakout, it can also restore some of your special meter. Ah, that I didn't know, but we don't even have a special meter right now, so... No, well, it <laughs> sucks to be me. Haven't gotten that fucking tutorial yet. Can you not a spin? I don't know about yet, but you will by the end of this episode. Hey, this is Tony Hawk. You were listening to Demolition Radio on Sirius Satellite Radio. We just got <laughs> What am I listening to? Some local skaters yeah, what the hell? An entire protest causing a traffic jam and leading to dinosaur sightings on the sunset. Also, this strip. weirdo in California so in stole area, all my music and now I have to play his stuff. <laughs> so let's check out another tune on Tony Hawk's Demolition Radio on Faction. On Sirius, which is I'm pretty sure is obsolete. Who pays for radio? Come on. Yeah, I get you front row and backstage. Ow. Ow. No, don't worry about it. Come on, I know a guy. Murphy, let us up there. Hundred bucks and a date with your sister. Ah. Okay, done. <laughs> no, it's not happening. We have a very strict no noobs policy. He's not a noob. He's all right. He's just... Sully, what's up? This game focuses a lot on its original characters. I, I don't know if they're charming or if the voice acting is just good enough to pass them through, but I, I like them, mostly. They're all assholes, but... You know. Whoa! Oh, man. It's from that point in writing where character meant Whoa. asshole. Oh, right. Just inherently. Combo. You know, day one busted that exact same line here last year. Well, except for that head smashing into a car part. <laughs> Who's the tool? I'm a tool. Yeah, nice bail back there. You get a massage with that facial? Boom. He's a friend of mine. I thought he could chill with us. I make friends head. like this. That's why I'm friends with you. The ranch is our <laughs> spot. No huckers, especially not cocky ones. No huckers. That is a there. phrase Five referring right to those who huck themselves. Do you think you're that it's an unfortunate timing to call me that, though. Got. Prove me wrong and the ranch is all yours. Tell you what, hucker. You pull these combos and we'll let you speak with Iggy. Murphy's got the illest We've got him tied up. Those muscles are just for show. Not a spin dial, man. <laughs> Check it. The wall flip to not a spin. Wow, now that's new. Dave's the, the wall flip. of useless skate trivia. Thug one had wall plants, but Thug two had the sticker slap. I can do them both in a They're the same thing, plant. but I don't know why they're separate. <laughs> sticker slap to one hurts more plant. on the hand. The other hurts more on the foot. 
I'd appreciate Dave because he represents the underappreciated and underrepresented skating nerd. <laughs> Skateboarding is remarkably nerdy, and that is not properly represented anywhere. Damn, your friends are pretty Mullen good. and Hawk are both nerds. Absolutely. And, like, they're two of the big ones. There's a group of radical skater extremists here in Beverly Hills called the Skate Club. They are always trying to recruit new members. So I'm sure they'll help you learn some new tricks. After you've learned a thing or two, find Boone, Murphy, and Dave. I'll see you soon. Or BMD, as we call them. <laughs> Get ready for another episode of Tutorials. Boone's hassling you, huh? Uh, yeah, and who is he to talk? Just saw him eat asphalt trying to drop in from that rooftop. I also saw him eat ass, but I don't think I was supposed to see that. Check this out. I've been practicing these wall plant variations all day. Pork bud, you gotta cook that first, man. <laughs> Every member of, of Skate Club, which is exactly the reference you think Sweet. it is, looks oh, the exact same kind of ugly. Just go towards a wall and do a sticker slap. A sticker slap! They do look like they've been in a fight. <laughs> That's a different slap. I tried. Nicely done. Now try this variation. But he's so supportive. Similar the first the nice dude we meet. It's a foot plant off the wall. Cool. That'll help me skate on. He looks like the dude who played That's Sandman in Spider-Man 3. I'll show you a wall. <laughs> You're right. And he looks like he is partially made of sand. But only partially made a man. Oh, that's killer. You <laughs> Your neck. <laughs> I'm an owl. Oh, that's killer. <laughs> I don't know why they need to have both wall plants and sticker slaps. They function exactly the same, just one leaves a sticker behind you. Are they mechanically different? I don't think so. I think you might get be able you know, like you might I'm thinking maybe one gives you more height, the other gives you more distance, but it's it's hardly noticeable from my experience. I'm gonna fall. Okay. Okay, so wall plant, you actually do something different to do it. I thought it was like the same button. No, a sticker slap is just a. A, a wall plant is a and down. What's flipping parkour? I will demonstrate. Watch. What's flipping parkour? I guess this is like, I think this is right when parkour was starting to get popular. Pop in quotes, popular. Now we get fancy. Run up the wall. Most people tend to think of the parkour in this game as kind of like a useless addition. I, I find it really useful to get up on top of things and find new places to start lines. It's not so much useful in combos, but I, I, I like the maneuverability it gives you, even if it is, it is pretty janky at times. Yeah, I feel like it'd be useful in concept, no, but it's a little too jank for me. Did parkour even originate in France? I don't know, because the, the famous guy that I know of who was in Casino Royale, he was... Like maybe like now French African. What you need to do this parkour just like sounds so French enough. Combo without board with wheels. Holy! That's freaking wild, man. Thanks for the lessons. Attends, I have more tricks to show. Yeah, I don't know why they did that big demonstration when there's still more tutorial to do. There we go. There we go. Whoa! Here! Whoa! These look ridiculous. The tucks can be useful for combos because, I mean, they're just something else to do when you're on your feet after you've done a caveman. Okay, so the guy I was thinking of, Sebastian Focon, uh, he is French. It's just he's of Guadeloupean descent. Oh, I see. What's that? I'll show you. It's called a not a spin. Ah, that bites! Ow, well, maybe you can do it. Try to jump on oh, well, I'm okay now. <laughs> Not a spin on both of these poles for a few seconds each. So yes, the not a spin. 
This is a thing that I thought it was only in video games, but then I saw Andy Anderson do it, and he is a living video game character, so I guess it's possible. Not that fast, but still. Still not wrong. All right, homie. This game also adds uh, variations to the Nada spin. It was introduced in Underground 2, but in this game you can like tap buttons to do different Nada spin moves. Oops. So, this is another new addition, the Boned Ollie. There's not even a cutscene explaining it because I don't even think the game knows what its use is. <laughs> yeah. It's just jumping isn't enough. Yeah, like you just move your board forward a little bit. I think it's supposed to help you like reach those like gaps that are just barely out of reach, but I don't notice anything. It's just a little extra something to do. I feel like if anything, it's just an extra thing for your combo. Yeah. Yeah, this game has a lot of really useless additions, but I don't think it takes anything away, so it doesn't it absolutely doesn't feel worse to play. And I still stand by the fact this is like mechanically peak Tony Hawk. That was sick. Give it a try. Backflips were also introduced in Underground 2, but in this one you could do double flips. Oh, or at least you could try. Honestly, I, I do double flips more often than regular flips just by accident. Just through panicking. Nice yeah. flips. Now let's Panic mashing. Mid -air. Do this to do a roll. I believe rolls were also Man, in so Underground 2. Go ahead, yeah. Your turn. Of course, this one has double rolls. There is nothing more video gamesy in these games than getting up into the air and then changing your momentum like this. Right. <laughs> It's like a fan yeah, blowing the underneath of you to go up. in a direction. Since you got the spine transfer down, let's do an acid drop. Jump off this roof and acid drop onto the quarter pipe below. That's on. Good job. Now for bank transfers. When you're over an angled surface. Now this is a very convenient bank. addition to American Wasteland. It's like an acid drop or a spine That's transfer, awesome. but you can do it on Never banks now. Before. Go ahead, you're up. Do a few to get a feel for it. I very much miss this when it's not here. This does seem handy. Yeah, there's not a ton of places where you can use it, but the places where you can use it are very... You, you notice that you can. Oops. Don't know why that bike is there. Nice job. I was watching you through my telescope. All right, we've done all of the tutorials, so now we can find Boone, Murphy, and Dave to prove ourselves enough to get into the skate ranch. All right, man. If you want me to let you into the ranch, you need to bust some skills. Hey, watch me. Just run up the wall, do a wall flip, and land a non-spin on the pole. Tough guy, you do it. If anyone can do that in real life, that'll be a bet I'm happy to lose. <laughs> like, I'll, like, take off my pants and throw it at a stranger or something, if, if somebody could do that in real life. Please don't tell me Murphy's a real person. I'll, I'll be terrified of my pants. Just because Mindy's got your back doesn't mean you get a free ride. Let's see your big air skills. Watch Between you and me, I hate Mindy. No reason. <laughs> Let's see you step up. Ignore my bald head. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so you think you're ready for the ranch, huh? Let's see you do a combo with what you learned. Check it. Stick a slap to manual the wall plant. Dave's a nice guy. He's a little annoying, there. but now you try a sticker slap he's just kind of the wall plant. a cool dude. He does look like cut rate Kramer. <laughs> I thought I did it right. That time I'm almost positive I did it right, but it was either the flip or the fact that I did a nose manual instead of a manual. <laughs> I didn't tell you to be cooler than that. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Nice combo. Now let's test out your wall ride skills over this gap. Watch me. Fuck, I didn't agree to that. Let me in the ranch. 
Now, if you can do it, you'll be one step closer to the ranch. That one. <laughs> this hidden valley ranch in my pocket. <laughs> I'll throw it at you. It's not in a bottle either. Wow, that was awesome. You nailed it. I haven't seen someone so dialed since that Rodney versus Day One video. You proved yourself to us, Hucker. Now follow us up here to meet Iggy. Don't worry, he doesn't call you a Hucker for the rest of the game. You proved yourself, Barfer. <laughs> you proved yourself to us, Pukenheimer Schmidt. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. All right. So since this guy is kind of here, he keeps catching my eye. Let's let's talk to What's him. Up? The name's Mouton. Did you know you could walk up to any wall and tag it? You can also do it while you're hanging on a wall or just paint the ground right under your feet. This is another way you can earn money, me, is that you can help him finish his graffiti. Finish you can also go to him if you want to create your own graffiti, graffiti graphic. Spots. That's another thing you can do in combos, is you can, if, if you're off your board, you can graffiti tag either on a wall or in addition to this game, under your feet. Um, which does add to your multiplier. It's not very convenient to do so, but let's go ahead and create a graphic anyway. Let's see what we got. I feel like some of these are more, you can do this to increase your combo. They weren't added for that purpose, but they put them in the game. They figure if you do them during a combo and you don't get points for it, it'd be a wasted opportunity. What do you think of my art? <laughs> <laughs> my favorite part is that's a left-handed fist. What's up? The name's Mouton. When you're with me, you can create your own. All right, you can also help him finish his graffiti. They're not all there? this easy. <laughs> Don't worry. But I'm gonna make it hard, damn it. Nice one. Catch up with me later if you want to do some more art. This song, you know, hearing it at a lower volume, it is pretty Tony Hawk. Yeah. You made a lot of very good skating music, dude. It's just the way that, because this song was from back in 2013, and. At that point, I didn't have a lot of definition in my voice, but, you know, a lot of old punk singers, at least the stuff that they added to the Tony Hawk games, they were kind of like that, too, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> there have been some legendary bales here. <laughs> <laughs> See the mask, the on it? <laughs> that tree with the tooth Perfect timing, it? Dave. Boon. That smash window with the hair clump dangling from it? Boone. <laughs> oh, Boone. <laughs> I'm starting to think Boone is just a shit Anything skater. You never needed to know. He's your man. And that wall with the hole the size of Boone's head in it? Well, <laughs> you do the math. So whose place is this anyway? I love the way he said Boone. Coolest <laughs> Boone. Fuck it, idiot. Fugitives thrash and crash here. He's like the king of the misfits. Sounds like an all right dude. Yeah, just hates people he doesn't know. One time, this oh, great. wandered up here, and Iggy hucked a lawnmower at him while it was running. You'll be fine, though. Iggy's like the only character in this game where I'm like, all right, this guy's kind of cool. He's, I mean, he's also an asshole, but I don't know. There's something that you like about him. Are we having an open house here today or something? Maybe it's because his voice actor is really Yo, good. Iggy, we've got someone you should meet. This dude rips. That a fact. You got moves, huh, Slick? Well, you want to ride here, you got to earn it. There's a half-built ramp I got going Fucking there. Boot. You give me some wood to finish it. <laughs> Poor guy. Maybe we'll talk. <sighs> Fair enough. And while you're at it, take my dog Sanchez for a walk. Things gotta do something fierce. Don't worry, he don't bite. Well, except for that one dude's leg he chewed off. Good luck. <laughs> He's voiced by Greg Sims, who's done a lot. Nothing I recognize, but... <laughs> Still going. Still going. <laughs> Still going. <laughs> Told you, this game's very buggy. You, you, we're going to see a number of humorous bugs throughout this Let's Play. All right, let's talk to Murphy. Hey, Murphy. 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 To walk Iggy's dog. Snake some wood for the ramp. Murphy. Yeah, take Iggy's dog, Sanchez. He knows exactly where to go, and he'll make sure no one gives you any crap. Oh, especially security guards. <laughs> Sanchez. I got a piss. Guards. Over and over again. I don't need you, dog. <laughs> I mean, for this mission, I do, but afterwards. Boing, boing. <laughs> <laughs> and this is saying a lot, but this might be the least polished Tony Hawk game. 
Like in terms of its environments and stuff like this. Yeah, I remember liking it as a kid, but even at the time, I felt like there was some piece missing hey, about Logan. it. Keep that mangy beast away from me. I have mace. Okay, okay, I don't gar, have mace. Gar, gar, gar. I do have a rare condition where I bruise and scar very easily. It's called skin. Forget that. I'm out of here. <laughs> I love how he doesn't scream. He's just like, eh, whatever. Boy, I'm gonna Sanchez. run. Let's go find some more wood. See, this is where you're supposed to pee. I wish occasionally Sanchez would jump and a piss puddle would appear underneath him. <laughs> like, jump with his legs splayed out behind him. <laughs> Ugh. Kind of like the elephant that you sketch in Tony Hawk 4 <laughs> that just poops. Oh, uh, no. What will I do in the next three minutes? Oh, yeah, so I know one of the selling points of this game was that it's a big open world. Everything is connected. And what that means is there's individual locations that all have to load separately. They're just connected by long tunnels. Yeah, I'm surprised I haven't mentioned that yet. Yeah, this game is technically open world. You can skate to any of the locations whenever you want. And yeah, they, they are separated by these long tunnels, but I think the tunnels themselves are fun enough to skate that I can forgive it. That's just me. A lot of people disagree. They were smart that they designed it with rails or what have you, so you can keep your combo going. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if there was somehow, like, this ridiculous achievement where you... <laughs> you didn't even try. <laughs> where you, like... wait for me! Sorry, I'm distracted by that Blue Man Group billboard. I didn't even notice that before. <laughs> um, I'm surprised there's not an achievement where you have to do a combo that stretches across every level. That'd be ridiculously difficult, but I'm sure someone can do it. Especially since the longer you grind in manual, the harder it is to maintain it. Yeah. People have made like gigantic combos throughout the life of the Tony Hawk series. Hardcore sax solo. Industrious sax. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, Miss Pole. Ministry may have oh, Ministry may have done it first, but Big Time Kill do it better. Big Time Killer, they rock. I need to listen to them much more than I do. The funny thing is, so like, I had. Um, it's a two man band, uh, Adam and Ben. I had Adam on my podcast. Uh, sophomore slumps to talk about Devo and Adam singing like he's such a high energy flamboyant singer but in person he's so low key and, and relaxed are you going to be linking to all the music that we're using in like the description I'm going to try to remember okay I'll link to everyone's band camp at least damn man Iggy's got some tight moves that dude's pretty good <laughs> wait pretty good Okay, you have no idea who he is, do you? Iggy is a legend. How come I've never heard of him? I just noticed Iggy's a bit of a Mary Sue. dropped out. hated all the publicity. Just know that you're in the presence of greatness, my friend. Like, it's, it's, mention, it's mentioned a little bit later that Iggy hung with, like, the Z-Boys, which are, like, the original big-time skaters. I'm like, okay, dude. Sure. you want, you can crash here with the rest of these sponges. That's awesome. Iggy, man, thanks. Oh, man, I really appreciate you letting me... Yeah, yeah, don't get all wussy on me. I'm out. Welcome to paradise, chief. It's a toilet, but it's home. You know, with the I love that line. I don't know why. We're <laughs> decent around here. <laughs> That's funny. I was just thinking the one thing this place needs is more mini stuffy bunnies. Ow! You dipwad. I am Murphy's dead? about this. Good. Fine, oh, you man, win. I'm all cool. over it. Oh, that is it's awesome. Rock. That would be killer. Could you imagine? This place will be like Blake Murphy. Nobody's ever seen. <laughs> I say let's trick it out, man. This could be the ultimate skate park. It would finally pay back Iggy for hooking us up for so long. And anything we need, you know I got the hook up all over town. <laughs> Ow, my legs. First thing I gotta call my hospital friends. And we landed on him. Murphy's fucked up, God. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the the overarching plot of American Wasteland is that you're going to do your best to transform the skate ranch into a the ultimate dream skate park. The game tells you it's that. I will say the final product is not that. 
Yeah, it, it's not like the create a park modes from the previous games. It's more you find pre-existing, pre-built things around Los Angeles and steal them and put them in the park. Yeah, and the final product is just not a very cohesive park. There's a lot of fun places to skate here and there, and um, the, it, it does have a thing where every time you get a new piece for the park, uh, Mindy is there with a with a mission at the skate park for you to do a combo on the new piece. And I will be doing those as I collect the pieces. Normally, I wait until the end of the game to do all of those, but I thought it'd be better just to do them as I collect the pieces. But individually, they're fun, I guess. But the skate ranch as a whole is not a good Tony Hawk level. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the missing piece I was thinking of earlier. It's that the game doesn't follow through on the potential it has with its concept. No. Story-wise, I like it a lot. It's a happy medium between the skateboarding-focused, started from the bottom, now we're here story of Underground 1, and the wanton destruction and jackassery of Underground 2. <laughs> this is a very this is a very good medium between them, and I think the story over, overall is good. It's Jack Butt. Jack, Jack Booty. It's just a disappointment. The Skate Ranch itself is a disappointment. But it's going to be a while until we've even finished that, so... yeah. Late spoiler warning. <laughs> <laughs> About how long is the game? I want to say it's around six, seven hours. It's not a terribly long game, but it, in terms of Tony Hawk, I think it's a pretty lengthy one, especially if you want to do all of the missions. What I'm specifically going to be doing, I'm going to beat the game once on sick. I will be doing all of the story missions. Technically, you could do all of like the tagging missions with Mouton or all of the bike tutorials or other stuff like that and i think that beating the game on different difficulties unlocks different skaters it doesn't add to anything that we're actually going to be showing in the lp though so i think mm -hmm. that just one straight playthrough on sick doing all of the story missions uh is enough yeah that was enough for underground yeah i think this and underground 2 i think you specifically have to play on the different difficulties to get the characters maybe i just read that wrong but like playing on sick doesn't unlock all of them I think you're right, because I'm almost positive in Underground 2, if you play on a higher difficulty and beat it, you don't unlock the characters from the lower difficulties for beating those. And I'm like, why? Yeah. <laughs> That's stupid. That's why we play higher difficulty. Because it sure doesn't make the game more fun. No. I mean, if the, if American Wasteland, the difficulties do not matter. <laughs> yeah. It is it is the one of the most insultingly easy games I've ever played. And you know me, I'm, I don't mind an easy game, but this game offers such little in the way of challenge, like, at any point. If you have any knowledge of how to play a Tony Hawk game, you're going to breeze through this game. And also, I know people are going to ask, uh, we will be playing the classic mode, too. I'm going to be handling that. We're actually going to save that after the story mode, and that's going to be its own videos, maybe even video, because it's not long. Because like Jacob said, I think I played that on sick difficulty. I think you get the choice. But yeah, that I recorded all that in an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah. And the classic mode in this game is that was something that was added into Underground 2, where it's it takes some levels from the game as well as some older levels and gives you like classic Tony Hawk one through three challenges to do. The Underground 2, that was pretty lengthy. It had like yeah. 16, 18 different stages to do. This game has six. <laughs> yeah, it, it's kind of <laughs> piddling, to be honest. Although I don't mind that because Classic Mode in Underground 2, which I also recorded, that's a pain in my ass. Oh, yes. Just because of how long it is, and I'm sure some of the challenges are really tough, too. And also just finding all the stat points. Some of them are well hidden. Oh, right. That's a thing you have to do as well. But yes, that will be its own video. We'll probably get to that at the end of the LP. Because I know people who are specifically looking for Classic Mode would probably rather it be its own video. Right. We had the idea to put a classic mode at the end of every or every other episode, but it's probably more convenient for viewers to put it all in one. And classic mode is probably not long enough to last the LP. No, not at all. This is def there will definitely be more than six parts. There might not be more than 12 parts, but it'll definitely be more than six. But next time we're going to go break something, then put it in the park. Absolutely. Let's skate some shit. Let's make L.A. abstract and cracked. I will reference myself any chance I get. Yes. Listen to all of this music. It's all great. Wait until December for the 2020 mixes of some of my older stuff, though, like a more traditional love song. At the time we're recording this, I haven't released the remaster of that. Right. So the <laughs> exclusive look in the background of this Let's Play. <laughs> Turn up the volume so we blow out your ears.